Hey there guys, so it is Dollar Tree Day, meaning Saturday, but this week I'll have a little bonus video for you guys. I think I completely blacked out in Dollar Tree this week, and when I got to the register, I woke back up. <laughs> That's all I can say, but I did get some good stuff, some long-term wishlist items, some new things that I haven't seen yet before, so it's a good haul. It's a good two hauls. I did it all at once, but we're going to split it into two videos to keep it from being crazy long, because it would be, I promise. But that's just more Dollar Tree goodness that you get to watch later on, right? This Dollar Tree haul, I will put the pictures with it. I literally, I think I only got about six or seven pictures. I know, crazy. So this Dollar Tree haul will have the pictures and next Dollar Tree haul will just be all the rest of the stuff that I got. So enough talking. I swear this cat did not care or want to be with me at all until I started filming. Isn't that right? Yeah, okay. Don't, don't knock stuff over. You're gonna go up there, aren't you? One day I'm going to show y'all <laughs> what he jumps up on. I'm going to start off with my favorite thing. Well, I have two favorites that I'm going to show you in this haul. This first one is a favorite because it's been a long-term wish list item. And if you have watched my other Dollar Tree hauls, I've mentioned this before. I finally found the succulent art. Thank you, Pip. And I was so excited. This just randomly showed up because I know it has not been at my Dollar Tree unless they've had it stuck in the back somewhere. You are making this hard. So, yeah, they had the one with that was nothing but the succulents and then the one with them in a crate. And my house is like getting taken over by artificial succulents because I bought a ton at Walmart the other day when they were on clearance and now we're doing this. I'm thinking, since I finally found these, I might redo um, some of the artwork in my bathroom. I have to get a new shower curtain to go with it. And then maybe a new bath mat. That could get expensive real fast. But anyways, all, all from a Dollar Tree piece of artwork. But I was really excited to finally see this one and I got one of each. All right, so the other thing I was most excited for, I haven't seen this there and I don't know if it has been there before. I don't think so. I need another coffee mug, like I need a hole in my head, but I can always get rid of an old one for this one. This says, I meow you. And it's just like, looks like pencil drawings of these cats and one's a boy and one's a girl. This is the Royal Norfolk brand from Dollar Tree and this washes really well. And I want to say if I remember correctly, if you put these in the microwave or something to reheat your coffee or something, they don't get too terribly hot. So that's a good little thing too. I want to say I saw somebody haul these or they had a picture of it or something like that. Um, but it's these little pet lasers. Now, lasers can run anywhere from two, three dollars, sometimes seven, eight dollars, depending on the quality of it. Um, but this one's really cute. It's got the keychain. It's a good size. It comes with the batteries, which is awesome. It says extra batteries included. So does that mean that there's batteries already in here? Because if that's the case, that's even more awesome of a deal. And they had tons of these. So I got one for each cat plus a backup. I just wanted, I wanted one in every color. But now that I look at it, dead gummit. All the lasers are the same. I wonder if the color of the laser is the color that shows on the packaging. Because I thought it was the paw prints that would be different colors, and it's not. This doesn't say. I don't know. I'll keep you updated if the color of the background is the color of the laser or if that's just their own decorative choice i don't know the next thing is i'm loving my color pencils for my notebooks but i feel like there's not enough definition within the colors and some of the lighter colors you can't really see so i'm loving them but i think this might be my new go-to so i got one of each of these because i wanted to see what i liked better and they're only a dollar so why not these, were, there were eight of these, but they were one millimeter, and I'm not a fan. I usually like the finer point, and there's enough different colors in there that I think they'll stand out, and with them being pins, I think that'll be easier as well. What was cool about these is they, um, they twist up, 
so the caps don't come off you just twist them up so I thought that was really cool and they're kind of smaller so they'd fit in my calendar binder really well then I liked these there's only six of these because they're a little bit bigger and but they're the 0.8 millimeter so they're a little bit more fine tip but I like the color selection better of these so we're gonna play with both of them see how they write and get them in my calendar so I was finally able to find some new socks and they are patriotic and they look really awesome actually so my husband will be happy they are these that just say USA and it's got the eagle with a flag so these will be great for the summer these I actually kind of really like I guess because they look vintagey almost so they've got the Statue of Liberty here and then just the stripes in the red and blue but um, I just thought this one was really cool. This one's my favorite, but I liked the other one too. So anyways, I always get socks there for him. It's a good way to find some fun, funky dress socks. Last week I hauled the little Nemo clownfish floats. So this time I got just the round ones. I got one of each and they're it's just like an ocean theme. They're not that big. They're probably about the same size as the others, but um, I told the boys I'd get a regular type of float the next time I went. I feel like these would hold more air. The only thing about the other ones, because of the way they were shaped, I don't think they held as much air as just a regular round one. So it wasn't super great, like, float-wise. Don't get me wrong. They had plenty of fun. I might pop up a picture of them playing with their floats. This one was still cute, too. And for another couple of dollars, I got them some more floats to play with. Also, on that note, I got these for my oldest. The youngest one has some of these, but he wanted some of these too. They don't like the nose thing. They can't figure it out, breathing out of your mouth and having your nose blocked. They just don't like it. The only thing is my oldest can do the snorkel one with the nose block because he knows he can breathe out of his mouth while he's under the water. I don't know. We got to get him used to that. I went ahead and picked up one of these too um, since I was there and they had them there. Yeah. Okay, so here's a little... A little product update for you. I absolutely loved these. The dishwasher cleaners. I don't know how old they are. I don't know if they're expired technically. They worked just fine. They have run probably three or four loads of dishes since I used it. And I can still smell when I take out a new load of dishes. I usually never smell the detergent, but I can still smell this from after I cleaned it. This left the dishwasher smelling fantastic, and there was no residue, no weird stuff. It was actually like all shiny in there. The only thing, and I don't know if this was an accident or if this normally happens or if this is why they're at Dollar Tree, is the plastic packaging didn't completely dissolve and it was still there everything was out of it and used up but the little plastic pouch was still in there that we had to get out but otherwise it did a really really good job so those llamas that i got last time i got two more packs they are that good i really like the flavors i didn't realize when i first bought them that they were different flavors so like it's passion fruit pineapple mango berry punch strawberry blueberry which is different than the typical trolley brand flavors so i actually like these more so that's why i wanted to get more of these i also saw these i've never seen these there before it's the haribo brand and it's just like i'm assuming that the rainbow ribbon too that um it's just sour candy in the strip form so there's a good amount in here it says it's the share size so anyways the kids always love sour candy and i feel like you can get one of these and they're satisfied so that's what we do as per usual we got some more of these last thing for this haul before i get into the very few pictures that i took they had some more snyder stuff and a lot of it so this one was the twisted honey wheat um of the like the not the real long sticks but like the half size sticks but they're the thicker ones so i wanted to get these and try them out too because i feel like they taste they would taste really good. I've never actually tried these. Almost all of these Snyder's pretzels, all the different varieties, are about $3, and it says it on the bag. So you're really getting a good deal when you see this kind of stuff at Dollar Tree. And this doesn't expire till September 14th. So I have a little while to work on this. So it's not like it's going to expire next month or anything. So these are always a good buy when you see them there. This first one, I literally took a picture of it because it really creeped me out when I first saw it. It's supposed to be an octopus shovel, and I get it, I see it, but it looks more like alien eyes that are smiling at you instead of 
an octopus. And who decided to put those teeth on the octopus? I have no idea. I took this picture out of humor more than anything. This concept I thought was really cool and dead gummit, I meant to get some pool noodles before I left and I kept forgetting. <sighs> I guess I'll have to put that on my list for when I go back. Okay, anyways, this goes with pool noodles and it's a really neat thing. So you stick them in the hole of the pool noodle and it turns them into a like sword. You can do a pool noodle fight with it basically. Not like we've not done that already, but this just makes it easier, I guess. These little LED lanterns I thought were cute. I don't know how bright they were. I didn't want to like pull the little thing out and test it out in the store. I didn't get one, but it'd be cute as little, you know, back porch decor if you wanted to get several and set them on your tables or the, you know, hang them up somewhere. You could even like string them and make them look cute. And for a dollar, that wouldn't take um, a lot of effort. These were all some of the new prints that I saw along with my succulent ones. I thought the jars were really cute with the pastel flowers in them and then this crazy bright peacock and then the one that looks like burlap is actually a print on there it's not textured or 3d or anything so i thought that was pretty cool this clear all color crave stuff i've seen several people haul this it's hair makeup and it's just like basically a colored dry shampoo or a colored hairspray i feel like it would leave a lot of texture but what's cool about this is I've seen people even with dark hair do it and it still show up because it's not dyeing your hair it's just coating your hair so I thought that was kind of cool these whole blends by Garnier it you know depending on how much hair you have or how much you want to use you could probably get two per pack and get four uses out of it but that's if you're really stretching it but it's these hair masks or hair treatments that you want to leave in and help restore your hair but it'd be good to try, you know, for if you want to try it out before you buy a whole thing of it. Or if you want to travel with it, you can just take one, use it, throw it away, not worry about it or anything like that. So I thought that was kind of cool. These cups, this is literally my last picture, you guys. I know it's crazy. These cups are plastic, which is awesome for outdoor parties or just being outside, period. Or just being at home and you're with a lot of people and you don't want it to fall or crack or break or whatever they're bpa free and i'm sure you could wash them in the dishwasher i mean everything gets washed in my dishwasher so it'd be worth a try and i thought they were really cute they'd be perfect for summertime to have and not have to worry dollar tree haul part one is done and stay tuned for part two coming up later this week it's crazy i know but i feel like if i do get a lot of stuff like this I talk a lot. I mean, clearly, y'all seen my videos. I chat, and I don't want to chat so much that I have like a 30 minute Dollar Tree haul video, which I think this would have been if I didn't split it up. So, anyways, we might start doing this if I have like a ton of long videos, and then we might just start splitting it up and doing two parters. So thank you for watching part one of this Dollar Tree haul. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of part two and all of my other Dollar Tree hauls and I hope you have a good day. Happy shopping. Bye guys. This is the Royal Norfolk brand from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Why do I keep saying that? Different than the typical trolley brand. Uh, typical than the typical. <laughs> it is time for a thumbnail. Doop doodly doop.